Hey everybody, how is your afternoon, your Sunday going? I have had this idea kind of working through my brain <laughs> the last couple of weeks and it seems a little confusing. If you think of your body like a car, then your heart is a steering wheel and oils are gas in the tank. But what the heck does that mean and how does it work? <laughs> And um, I think most of you know, I do a lot of uh, meditation and spiritual work. And I've been working a lot with understanding um, our energy body and vibration and frequency uh, the last couple of months. And I kept hearing this message, use your heart like a steering wheel. And I was like, okay, I, I don't think, I don't know that I understand what that means <laughs> or how to do it. I mean, in general, it makes sense that you know, we would want to use our heart to kind of steer through the world instead of our brain. But the last couple of weeks, it's really all come together for me. And what I've come to understand is that really our brain overrides our heart a lot of the times. And so we listen to things in our mind, um, especially things that are telling us like, you can't do that. That's a horrible idea. That'll never work. <laughs> and we trust it because it's our mind. Um, but our heart is really what we need to be feeling and need to be using. And so in general, it's one thing to say, oh, how does my heart feel about this? What do I really feel about this situation? But it's really easy still for our brain to get in the way, even when we're doing that. And so what I've come to understand is that there's really a couple of feelings that help bypass the brain and that is joy and gratitude. And so if you really work on feeling those emotions in your heart, then it goes, it, it bypasses that thinking brain and it drops you down into your subconscious. And so the more I learned about that, the more I was like, you know what else does that? essential oils <laughs> because they do the same thing they bypass your thinking brain and they go right into your subconscious so that you can um really be making changes like you can make changes in your life when you drop into that um lower uh, wavelength of your brain. In fact, the alpha wavelength is where you want to be. And the alpha wavelength in your brain happens when you're in meditation, but it oils also help do that. So again, I kept hearing this message about using your heart like a steering wheel. And once I realized that, oh, you need to pair it, like it's not just thinking about your heart navigating through the world, but there needs to be gas in the tank if you're gonna steer with the steering wheel. It doesn't do you any good to have the car sitting in the driveway if you can't go anywhere. And that's your body. And so go figure, you know, Young Living has oils that are perfect for this. In fact, they have joy and gratitude. Oops, it's hard to get the camera right there. And so I started thinking about how I could use these to, again, bypass my thinking brain, get into my subconscious and really make um, changes in my life. And so if I'm going to make a roller with these two um, that I can just like apply on my heart as a reminder to um, get into that space. You know, it's really just a spot to kind of like snap out of the brain space and into the heart space. But what's interesting is that furthermore, I the last week or so, I keep getting this like ping or reminder about the seventh heaven protocol. And so finally today it came up to me again and I was like, I think I have all the oils for that. Let me go back and, and check on it. And I looked up the details and I remembered that a few a number of months ago, maybe over the summer, I wanted to do this and was starting to purchase the oils that I was missing from the protocol. So I believe there's seven. And somewhere along the way, I must have forgotten about it. I didn't get all the oils. So this is, I just printed this out today. I'm going to actually hang it either in my closet or in my bathroom. Um, so I remember to do it every day with the oils. Um, but this is a, it used to be sold. Young Living used to sell this as a kit and they don't anymore. So now you just have to buy the oils individually. Um, and then there's this protocol that you walk through that you do each day. And I realized I'm still missing two. So I went in and placed an order today for Awaken and Humility, which I'm still missing. But 
Um, the order of the others is Sacred Mountain, um, you put on your brain stem, or you can put it in the diffuser. Inspiration, you place on the crown of your head. Um, Awaken, you swipe like across your forehead from temple to temple. Um, gathering, you also apply to your temples. Humility, you massage into your ears or put behind your ears. Um, dream catcher, you can either spray on your pillow or put in your diffuser at night, which I love to use that one um, in my diffuser at night. I already use that one a lot. And then white angelica, which I also use a lot, um, really just like creates a shield around your whole body. And what's interesting, if you look this up, and I'll put it in the comments, is that um, there is a recording kind of floating around on the internet of Gary Young um, discussing this protocol and each of the oils. So I went back to listen to it, and it was really interesting because it really does like key into um, that what I've really been working on with this, you know, bypassing the thinking brain to get down into your heart. And some of the highlights about what he explains on the um, recording is that uh, Sacred Mountain, which is this one, you maybe got it with, if you got the diffuser bundle on Black Friday, you might have gotten that. Um, but it brings the energy and clarity that many of us feel and receive when we're in the mountains into our daily, you know, busy city lives that we might have. So it creates a quiet space and makes it easier to communicate with spirit. Um, it also increases the oxygen exchange in our blood. It has like a respiratory um, benefit. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So, um, and then the next oil, inspiration, uh, it shifts the energy to help us feel communication with source or the divine. Um, and it specifically stimulates our pineal and pituitary, pituitary glands. So again, that's, you know, in a spiritual awakening, that's exactly what's happening. You know, our um, pineal gland is also, is often um, referred to as your third eye. So inspiration turns out is really good to that. Um, and then it also helps to attune to higher frequencies and amplifies them. So again, this idea of vibration and frequency that um, inspiration is helping you like shift your frequency and your vibration up. Awaken is one that I don't have and I just ordered today. Um, it helps you get unstuck and pursue goals and move forward, like helps us to remove any fear we might have of achieving our goals or wake up to our higher potential. Um, and then gathering, which was one I ordered over the summer. I really love this one, but specifically um, within the protocol, it um, helps us tune into a state of collective thinking, but obviously, you know, you want it to be positive collective thinking. Oftentimes you can kind of tune into the, you know, negative group think <laughs> that could be happening in the world. But, um, you know, this will help us tune into that collective. And in fact, if you're thinking about in the new year making some kind of change or, you know, going on some kind of wellness journey or detox or just making a change in your lifestyle, what I really like about, you know, a lot of times we kind of poo poo these ideas about like oh this is what everybody's doing you know in january like i don't want to do what everybody else is doing but you actually can use that energy that is the collective energy in the world is all of these people making a change and you can like kind of jump in and ride that energy so if you do that during january and you make a real positive lasting change you know you can use that group collective energy to propel you right at the beginning. So, um, and gathering also helps cut chaotic energy. That's what I tend to use it for most often. Um, but helps, it's kind of like a filter for that. So, hey Cassandra, yeah, I love gathering as well. It's one of, it's actually one that I keep in my purse at all times. And I only have like a little wallet that I carry around and that's the oil because if I'm out and about and there's chaotic energy of any kind, gathering like pulls my own energy back and kind of cuts through the chaos. So that's a good one if you don't have it. Um, humility is another one I realized I didn't have and I just ordered, um, but it helps control our emotions so that we can feel humility and be open to receiving information, which also helps to make us a better teacher. So really kind of a different um, twist on what, 
maybe we might have thought humility um, would be used for. Uh, that one also helps connect to our heart space, which is the whole point of, <laughs> of this, and also is um, a stimulant to our pituitary and pineal glands. So humility is another good one if you don't have it. Um, Dreamcatcher, like I say, that's one of my absolute favorites, but um, Gary explained it as it helps you shift into a state of daydreaming and visualization. And if there's one thing that I have learned in my own spiritual journey is that, you know, we are really told, you know, as children at some point, you know, to stop imagining, not to use our imagination or not to make things up in our brain. But that is actually exactly what you have to do um, when you're doing kind of visualization, spiritual work and that type of thing. You have to use your imagination. It's actually a basis of how it all works. <laughs> so um, Dreamcatcher helps you do that. It helps you shift into that state. Um, and again, with manifestation what we hold in our minds is what we attract to us or what I would say from what I've learned is when we are able to transcend that thinking mind and get into our heart what we hold in our heart is what we attract to us and so Gary was explaining that dream catcher is one that actually helps you release any kind of negative thoughts or thinking that you might be holding to attract things you don't want um, and then again helps you visualize and be in that place of attracting the things that you do want so and then finally the last one is um white angelica which is you know of course many of our favorites um and hopefully you got the big 15 ml bottle on on black friday for that one as well um but if not you can always order the 5 ml it's pretty consistently available but it protects our energy field um, it shields from negative energy and then it also increases our frequency. So again, he was kind of talking about if you're tuning into lower frequencies, you may be getting incorrect information or um, just information that's going to kind of send you off on a different path that you may not want to be on. So anything you can do to increase your frequency um, will help and White Angelica does that. And uh, he, his suggestion was that any time you are in a state of meditation or prayer, that you finish and seal that intention, that prayer, that meditation with White Angelica by basically just like waving it through your aura. And so again, if you want to do the seventh heaven protocol, get it kind of backwards here. Um, Gary's suggestion was that you do it with the intention of anointing, that you are intentionally anointing your body with these oils um, and really, you know, giving your gratitude to source, God, higher power, um, you know, whoever, whatever you work with um, and in gratitude and thanks for these oils that, that they have been provided for us to help us along this path. And so, um, I just thought that was really interesting that I've been working through this idea and then I kept hearing in my head the seventh heaven protocol, the seventh heaven protocol, and then it's this aligns perfectly with um, the same idea. So again, if you want to kind of transcend your thinking brain, get down into, well, first your subconscious and then um, further into your heart, um, Oils are a great way to do that. So uh, you can you can want to feel this energy in your heart uh, all you all you want, <laughs> but until you're actually radiating out that um, feeling of joy and love and gratitude, um, it, you're not really using the steering wheel at all. So use your joy and your gratitude and any other oils that help you feel that way. And, you know, just get in a regular habit. That's the one thing I've really learned through this work is that a lot of times we do these things once and don't do it again. Or we do it every day for a week and then we forget about it. I'm totally, um, totally do that. <laughs> so um, we really are having to shift out of our brains. And to do that, it's going to take repetition and making a new habit um, until our natural state is to go to our heart and let our heart make decisions and let our heart drive the bus. And as that energy, as you're putting that energy out in the universe, that's what you attract back into you. So anyhow, work with your oils. Definitely use your joy and gratitude, but think about the seventh heaven protocol as well. I will add links um, to a couple of these things that I mentioned. And also, um, 
I've created a meditation recently that actually is a longer visualization to help you actually shift into that feeling and that energy um, so that you know what it feels like to create from that space. So I will add that as well if you are interested in working with excuse me, your oils in that way. So hope you all are having a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.